Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how to combine data from multiple folders within a single query. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here I have few folders with multiple files. If I have these files in a single folder, then it is very easy to combine them all. But in this case, it is not straightforward. Here I have mentioned country names and its corresponding folder path. As said, if I have only one folder, I can just click on Get Data and use Folder Connector to combine files from a single folder, but we don't have option here to use more than one folder path. And it is limited to combine all the files from one folder. As we usually do, I am writing here a piece of M code to extract the contents from all the files in this folder. And I will show you how you can easily combine each and every file from all the folder locations and create a single combined dataset. These two tables are from my folder named Canada, which had year 2020 and 2021 data. If required, you can do promote header, and you will get a single table for these two files. In this process, you may be required to uncheck the column name in case of multiple files, or you can handle that as well while writing the extraction code. Till here nothing new. And let me now introduce you a powerful technique to combine files from all the folders. Click on the advanced editor here, we get all the recorded M codes for our transformation steps. I am going to convert this query as a custom function. I have already posted a video about Power Query Custom Functions, and link is there on top of your screen you can check it out. So, replacing this one folder path with my input parameter. And this query is converted to a custom function. Let's add our Excel sheet having country and folder paths in a table here. I can rename it to all countries. I get here the table with two columns. I will add a column here from the menu and invoke my custom function, which will work for each row of this table. I didn't rename my custom function name in this example, but you can rename it and keep an appropriate name. I also need to mention here the folder location column name. As that you can see, I get a combined table from each of the folder path locations, which will be further combined to form a single dataset for all the countries. I don't need these first two columns, I will remove them. This technique can be used to combine similar data from many different folders having multiple files in each folder. If data is loaded, we can click on Data View and click on Country Name column to check all the country names are now available within this single table. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI.